I thought I'd begin my TED Talk slightly differently, so I thought I'd begin with a game. So what you need to do, get one finger, get another finger, and then you have to touch your nose three times. So you go one, two, three, and they go, ah, with jazz hands. You have to do it as quickly as possible. So you have to go one, two, three, ah. Okay, everyone ready? Okay, let's take it seriously. I've put on a suit, okay? Like, we're taking this seriously. Let's get a certain tension in the room, okay? Right. When I say go, we begin. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, ha! Very good, very good. Shake hands with the person next to you and say, well done. Amazing work, amazing work. Now, right, now, shush, shush, shush. It's my TED Talk, right. Uh, <laughs> Now, why did I make you do that exercise, apart from for my own amusement? Well, uh, I did it because we've just explored three things that I find interesting about clown, which are performing action, looking like a bit of a fool, and being comfortable with it. As I look around at the room, I see a few of you looking at me as if to go, but Alex, I did the actions, I feel like a bit of a fool, and I don't feel comfortable at all. Which, you know, I'd say is a you problem, but I... I get where you're coming from. I, I should probably uh, give you a bit of context of me. So I um, first trained as an actor, and I was introduced in, to clowning in first year, and I, I hated it. I thought it was nonsense. Uh, I didn't understand the point of it, and I just wanted to be told what to do, and I just wanted to be given a character. Obviously, I did quite badly in clowning, uh, but as I've progressed from actor to teacher, like a kind of weird Pokemon evolution, uh, I... I do believe that clowning is the most important thing in actor training, which I appreciate is quite a big claim, so I've boiled it down to three points. So, number one. Number one, clowning makes you be in front of an audience and be comfortable in the uncomfortable. So a great myth that's spread around is that you have to be funny to be a clown. You don't. You just have to be open and you have to respond to the audience. So I have a friend who plays this amazing game where you get a circle, and the only rule is that you have to cross the threshold fearlessly. No doubt in your mind, no fear in your heart, the space is full of creativity and play, fearlessly cross the threshold. And that gives you like a kind of idea about what makes a good clown. Just builds up resilience and you respond to the audience. Number two, it allows you to explore all sides of yourself, including the sides of yourself that maybe you don't want to explore. So I... Uh, play a game often when I'm doing a clowning workshop where I send a clown outside and then I bring them back in and they have to lip sync and dance to a song. But they don't know what the song is because I pick it for them. Uh, so I had a guy who was about 40 odd and I thought, well, obviously this is a man who likes Eminem. So I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got the Eminem ready, brought him back in, uh, played the Eminem and all he did was listen to it for a second and then just slowly turned in a circle with Eminem playing. Instant laugh. Not because it was clever, not because it was smart. It wasn't. It was just that it was his first instinct. Clowning makes this quality happen. You just have to go with your first instincts. You can't hide behind a character. You can't do something smart. You just have to go with your first instinct. Leads on to the last thing. The flop. Now, yes, I know the flop sounds like something quite rude, but it's actually where... Um, so if I do a joke, or if I do an action and it doesn't get a laugh, that would be the flop. And then what I can do as a clown is I play the flop so that I acknowledge that I didn't get a laugh, and that gets the laugh. For instance, I have a joke for you all. What did the red say to the yellow? We should orange to meet. Now I'm colorblind, but I've been told that's hilarious. As you can see, the first bit of the joke maybe didn't get a laugh, but I acknowledged that, and I accepted the flop and got the laugh. So this is a clown's currency. You're going in and out of failure, and you're going in and out of flop. But so often in actor training especially, we're trying to make things perfect. Uh, acting teacher Bella Merlin says about this, that it is a reality that we all have to deal with. There is no blueprint. Ergo, there can be no perfect performance. But so often in acting, we forget this reality. We are highly ambitious. Ambition drives us. We strive for artistic perfectionism. What the, the flop does is it means that we can just accept that some things don't work. The only time you don't get a laugh is when you don't acknowledge that you didn't get a laugh. Now, so I'm coming to the end of the TED Talk. I'm going to take a few 
moments to be indulgent and talk about myself, because, you know, it's my TED Talk, so I can do what I want. Uh, I left the acting industry because I didn't think I was good enough. I didn't think I was attractive enough. I didn't think I was smart enough. I didn't feel... Da, 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 all of those things. With... When I was in training, I, I just felt that everyone was better than me, and I found myself teacher-pleasing and just not taking any risks and just terrified of the audience. What I like about clowning and the pedagogy of it means that everyone's in the same boat. You just have to go up there and see if you get a response from the audience. And the most important word there for me is you. When I'm teaching, I don't care about your race, your neurodiversity, your sex. What I'm interested in is letting you explore who you are. I want you to use what makes you special so that you can grow not only as an actor but also as an artist. Now, I appreciate <laughs> that people will not like clowning. I get it. I get that people don't like clowning. Most people have got clownophobia. I get it. But I'm just asking you to look at clowning in a different way. What I love about clowning is that anyone can do it. You just go on stage, see if you get a reaction, then leave the stage. Much like this TED Talk. I've been Alex Bell. Thank you very much. Thank you.